we're Chris and Teresa, and we would love to guide you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill and online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and have renovated a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and sustainable agriculture are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things from farm to needle. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. Welcome to YouTube 191. The printer is broken with hopes of either getting a new printer by May or the parts to make the printer work. By. We're not sure which which is we going need to happen. before May. Mm -hmm. So we will see. So. You want to talk about the next blizzard coming? So we, we've talked about every blizzard. There's a blizzard every week. There was the one last week. There was? No. There huh? was. Was there? We had to cancel everything this last weekend. That's right. <laughs> so there was. We yeah. had a good Thursday Thursday, but then the weekend, mm -hmm. we had to just cancel and refund everything. Yeah, which was that. And then, so this week, Tuesday, we're having... Uh, Nothing. A major blizzard. 24 Possibly inches. the worst. The worst 24 blizzard. inches of snow, of wet, heavy snow. 60, and wind. 60 mile an hour wind. <laughs> which means... I won't get out of my yard. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If you're here by Friday, I'll be surprised. Yeah. So, Kristen mm -hmm. and I were heading to a, this week, we were going to head to a tourism conference yep. in Bismarck. And we were all set to go. They mm -hmm. hadn't canceled it. Everything was mm -hmm. good. We're just yeah. fine. If we get stranded there, we're going to go. Yep. And then mm -hmm. I was all packed this morning. Mm -hmm. And they said, no, we decided to postpone it. Mm -hmm. And so, which was kind of a relief because I was like, I don't really want to be gone. Stuck there for a week. Right. Mm -hmm. And because we are supposed to start lambing the end of this week mm -hmm. and I wanted to be home, which was going mm -hmm. to happen if it was a normal week. <laughs> yep. And I would go to the conference and come back and <sighs> start lambing, but that, who knows? I, it's the worst blizzard of the year. Yeah, apparently. apparently. We'll see. We'll see how this how goes. How this goes. Yes. Hopefully the worst and the last because... It's got to be the last. Ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Completely. But we're going to move on to the deer head. We're not going to talk about... No, we're going to move on to the deer the head. The deer head. Teresa has rocked this. We talked last week about the antlers. Antlers. So I have looked for antlers mm -hmm. for years. We know I have a source. And we now have a source. He does an amazing so job. Get the deer I was head concerned in about how they would fit into the head mm -hmm. and how it but was look to work. At this. But this is this is my mount. <laughs> yep. He might eventually get a body or he might just be a mount. I haven't decided yet. He's bigger than I would normally make. Mm -hmm. Like, so I think I would have the antlers made smaller. Absolutely beautiful. But the most amazing thing is I was concerned how, because I want to make this into a course in the academy mm -hmm. and things and teach people how to make uh, white-tailed deer. And I was concerned how easy it was going to be to attach the antlers. Mm -hmm. And it is super easy. So they just stick right into the hole. Mm -hmm. And so you can make... You can work on felting the deer mm -hmm. and take, so while you're working on the deer, you can just take the antlers out and felt on the deer. And then you want to see how the antlers look and you stick them back in mm -hmm. and. Pretty cool. It really, really is. I was very, very happy with how everything worked out. Yeah. Super cool. So, stay tuned for those. Yes, so we're going to have, mm -hmm. there is an upcoming 
course coming mm-hmm. in the academy for um, a white-tailed deer. Mm-hmm. This is just the head. I haven't made any courses yet or started any courses, mm-hmm. but there will be the antlers available. And many more Indeed. ideas for things like this coming up. Mm-hmm. So. so stay tuned. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Maker's Day, we had... We had Maker's Day. <clears throat> we had our first actual Maker's Day this month. We had it on Sunday. Which is Sunday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We had we were supposed to have Maker's Day for the first time last month, but you know, blizzard storm. So we had our first Maker's Day this mm-hmm. Sunday, and it was so much fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chris and I and Libby and four others, five others, <coughs> Sarah and four friends. Yes. We all had fun. It was wonderful. Yes. I enjoyed it a lot. Mm -hmm. So everybody needs a time to set aside for making and just relaxing and making things. And that's what Maker's Day is all about. Yep. And we have it the first Sunday of every month from 1 to 5. Yep. So you can register for that at bearcreekfelting.com. I have cameras. (laughs) Yes. As of... Thanks to Casey. I have cameras. As of... Sunday. Yes, in my new barn. Well, you were here enjoying Maker's, Maker's Day. Day. I, I helped them in the morning yep. as much as I could. And then I had to leave, come here for Maker's Day. Yep. And Casey and Tucker and Jeff put up the cameras. They took all the old cameras out of the barn, the old barn, and put them in the new barn. So I can now see Sweet. what's going on. So if anybody's looking like they might want a lamb, which is... Going to start on Friday, which would, would be yesterday when you're seeing this. Oh, goodness. So it's exciting. Hopefully, I have lamb pictures. So if you are looking for lamby pictures, they will be on Instagram, uh, Prairie Shepherd, or uh, on my Facebook page, uh, Bear Creek Felton. I show lots Pretty of pictures cool. of the babies. Um, tonight we're going to work on a little project, which Chris is going to make a cross. And I'm really excited to do this cross because it's going to be done on something that is very Special. near and dear to me. Yeah. So last week we, mm-hmm. we did some self-striping yarn. Yes. And Here I is. went ahead and knit a little scarf for Mishka. Yes. And here it is. So you can see that how it works, self striping, mm-hmm. which is amazing. Yep. Way of because if you were to not do the self striping, it would just be all muddled up and muddy. And this is amazing. I that really cute? like the self striping yarn. She loves it. It's a little <laughs> Christmassy. It's wintry. Which is it is here. Yeah. We'd like to think this is Easter weekend that we could have provided some Easter things. So we are, mm-hmm. which you'll see is coming up. Yeah. Okay. But so thank you, Mishka. Mishka is going to be well prepared for Christmas. She will for next year. Yes. Mm-hmm. All righty. So our question for last week was, Teresa. So how do you know when a ewe is about to lamb? Mm-hmm. There are many signs mm-hmm. to know mm-hmm. and to be watchful for. One of our main signs is we have a birthing corner in the barn. In the old barn, of course, not yeah. in the new barn. They all come in and they go to the same corner or one of two corners and they just prepare to have their baby there. Mm-hmm. Which now we're in the new barn so we don't know where that corner is or what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. But um they they all do the same thing so they come into the barn they start circling they'll lay down they'll stand up they'll circle they'll lay down then they'll stand up and they'll dig around trying to make a little nest Mm -hmm. and you you can just tell that they're a little uncomfortable Mm -hmm. and um then you can i mean it's not long after that you can soon tell that That what's going to happen Mm -hmm. It's usually in the same spot. 
as for each mom. Each mom. I mean, it's the same spot as they were born, and mm. the same. You know, it's always the same spot. So I don't know what it's going to be like in this new barn, but they usually come in out mm -hmm. of the weather, uh, separate from everybody else. Uh, you can tell by looking at their udders if their udders are really, really full. Oftentimes we think we know by their udders, and then it's like, how many oh. days? <laughs> it's like, oh, <laughs> their udder, you know, you, you can't completely trust that. But you can, you know, trust if they come in and they're... So acting, how many different funny. how many different pens do you have for the use? Because in the other barn they were kind of in one. They were all in one yep. pen. Right now we have them in two different pens. We have a pen for those that need more feed. Mm -hmm. So we have the real, the first time mothers and the older mothers, and they get more feed. And then we have the really in between. Mm -hmm. Healthy. They don't need any really extra feed. Mm -hmm. Um, but we have them in a, in a in two separate pens so that we can provide more for the one. And mm -hmm. there's there's several that I mean if I were to look at them today and I looked at the camera camera several times that I would think that they were ready. But it's Friday. We haven't had a lot of times where they come early. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. So Easter babies. Easter babies. Neat. Yes. Okay, so Lorraine W., you are the winner because mm -hmm. you had the best comments. Yes. Questions. The, 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 yeah, yeah. the variety of answers. So yes. They're like, yes. Um, their, their bags fill up. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can tell that they're really tight. They have just huge udders. Mm -hmm. um, and... Um, they can you you can tell by just like the sunken in like the day that they're going to give birth you can tell like they've I don't I don't even know how to describe it just but from they've experience. like they've mm -hmm. sunken in a mm -hmm. little bit mm -hmm. where you can see like kind of like backs, the baby kind of drops, drops it in the human yeah. yes yes you can kind of tell that and you know this is the day mm -hmm. and you can tell by the way they're acting mm -hmm. just. And I can sometimes tell in the morning, I can see one you. it's in the barn, kind of looking yeah. around, looking for the spot. Yeah. And um, they usually don't let food interfere. They're like, I'm going to get mm -hmm. my food. Yeah. I'm not going to let this stop me. Yeah. But then I'm going to come in and do this after I'm done eating. Yeah. <laughs> but you can tell they're kind of thinking of it before they go out to have their food yeah. and feed them. So. Yeah, there's a lot of just little, little different signs that you mm. that you know just from experience. Mm -hmm. Yep. But Lorraine W. Yes, is, you're the is winner. our winner. So you can contact us through BearCreekFelding.com. We'll send out your prize. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the winner for next week, we had a question. We don't have a winner for next week. What by the way. is that question? Okay, we are expecting, okay, the question is, how do you care for a lamb during a spring blizzard, like what we're expecting the next two days? Mm -hmm. Because people are not only calving, they're lambing, and, and we're expecting, yeah, time of year. yeah, we're expecting 24 inches of snow. I mean, what do you do? And wind. And wind and, wind and horribleness. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you do? So if there's anything that you know that you can do, um, we've experienced many different years mm -hmm. of cold and just different weather. So yeah, yeah. If you have any advice, pass it on. Yeah, yeah. Ugh. Or any like just thoughts or how you think we handle it or yeah. Anything like that? Yeah, because two years ago, we <clears throat> we had a winter where there was very little snow. Mm -hmm. They were in the fields for sure by now. Yeah. And, and we were blessed to be able to finish the construction of the Gnome Schoolhouse yeah. in 2019, yeah, 2020. Yeah, definitely every, yeah. every year is different. Mm -hmm. and this has been a bad one. 
challenges yep. and just you know it depends on cold weather wet weather yeah you know, a lot of snow yeah a lot of different factors yeah okay so thank you thank you for joining us a blessed easter yes. to all of you Happy and easter. yes and and god bless you for supporting us and praying for us and thinking of us through this year and that's all folks you get kind of lame yeah that's right okay one two three and that's all